Hi everyone, welcome to another pop-up interview for our Data Mover series, which is highlighting the visionaries and innovators in the digital infrastructure industry. We are here at PTC DC in Washington DC, right on Pennsylvania Avenue. We are right at the start of the conference, uh, with great buzz around us. And I am here with uh, Abina Iziadinso, Global Sector Lead for Data Centers for IFC. Yes. Welcome and thank, thank you. you for joining me. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So as a, just a kickoff question here, what brought you into the data center industry? Yeah, so uh, thanks, uh, Candice, for that question. Uh, so my background is uh, private equity, investing in emerging markets. Uh, so I made a number of investments in Africa and Latin America. Uh, and then I joined the IFC to continue investing in emerging markets globally. Um, and so I actually transitioned into investing into digital infrastructure globally. And so now I lead IFC's uh, data center investment business in emerging markets globally. So I'm a part of our global TMT team and we're investing across the digital infrastructure value chain. So in addition to data centers, we're investing in mobile operators, fiber providers, uh, towers, uh, as well as media and infotech companies. Incredible, well thank you so much. Important work and we need, we definitely need that as part of the industry. Um, so I know we're talking a lot at PTC DC this week about challenges for the sector. Uh, what would you say is the top challenge for digital infrastructure right now? You know, right now, especially in terms of on the data center side, you know, the, the big challenge is there's a lot of demand, but there's an issue around readiness. Um, and so we, we're hearing and we're seeing uh, a lot of news stories, a lot of announcements. Uh, we're seeing hyperscale, uh, you know, announcements in terms of hyper, hyperscale capex investments. Uh, you know, this year the hyperscales have announced something like four hundred billion dollars of uh, capex investments that they will make in twenty twenty five. But there's questions around, you know, is the infrastructure ready to really be able to take up all of that investment? Um, and I think that's you know that's going to be the big challenge. Um, you know, in uh, developed versus uh, emerging markets, there's different levels of, re of readiness, there's different levels of demand. Right. Um, and so being able to, to match the demand with readiness is going to be the big issue. Got it. Okay, well said. Um, and then also, what would you say, since we talk on this video series and podcast about, you know, the people um, behind the industry, what would you say to new entrants into digital infrastructure? What kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, that, that's a that's a great question, Candice. Look, so a, a few things. One is in terms of uh, new entrants for developed markets. You know, I would say that you know you really have to focus on uh, power infrastructure and really getting the power side of your data center projects secure. Right, that's really going to be key. Um, you know, we're seeing, for example, in the U.S. Uh, you know, anything that's over 20 megawatts, for example, for data center projects, it's taking at least three to four years, potentially longer, for those uh, projects to get power. So really making sure that the power side of those projects uh, has really been planned out and, and has really been uh, you know, taken care of, that's going to be critical. Um, in emerging markets, I think the, the key thing really is partnerships. That's yeah. really going to be key. So when you're looking at expanding, uh, into an emerging market, whether it's in Latin America, in Africa, uh, in, in Asia, in Eastern Europe, it's really important to identify partners, whether it's financing partners uh, like the IFC or, or others, uh, you know, governmental partners, uh, private sector uh, operators, and, and really being able to identify you know, the team that's going to be able to help to execute a project and to mitigate the risks involved in, in some of these emerging markets. So I think partnership is going to really be key when you're looking to, for new entrants that are looking to expand into uh, international emerging markets. I love that as a theme, partnership. We hear about that so much at these events. It's it's such a critical part of, uh, there's so much to do, right? And so much to accomplish in the industry. So we yeah. kind of all have to work together to get there. Yeah. Um, so one last question, this is a, like a rapid fire, one word. Um, yeah. So w what one word would you use to describe the industry right now? You know, right now, the one word I would use would be um, uneven. Mm. So right now in developed markets, there's a lot of demand. Uh, but there's issues around uh, power infrastructure and the timing and the readiness of that infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the stories that we keep hearing are about uh, there's a lot of demand and a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. um, in emerging markets, you know, I'd say that there's different levels of demand. So not quite at the same level as what we're seeing in uh, developed markets. 
um, and there and there a lot of the projects some of the projects are not necessarily bankable and so they need to be made bankable and so that that's where you know uh, investors lenders like ourselves like the IFC you know we're looking for ways that we can help to make some of these projects bankable and to help to mitigate the risks um, and so that's why I would say it's a bit uneven um, that would be the one word that I would use to describe what's going on in the sector today. That's a great word. I don't think anybody else has used that word, so that's incredible. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, best of luck for your speaking engagement here tomorrow morning. I'll be sure to check, check that out. Um, and thank you for joining us. Thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us for another pop-up interview of Data Movers.